trick. You got the big boy bed now. No. You no, I don't want this new bed. I don't need a big good game. I know, you don't want to. Yeah. Bad. I don't want to get big over you. Uh, it's okay, sweetheart. Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Um, today we are... Uh, the, the kids are at school and Jeremy's going to get Trigg's big boy bed put together. He is well overdue for switching out of his crib. He is um, three years old and three months, so definitely ready. Um, we've kept him in there this long because he's had no issues so far. He loves his crib. He doesn't try and get out and it's just been easier, but it's definitely time that we switch him over. So um, we're actually going to be um, giving Trigg Breck's current bed because it's a floor bed and then Breck will get the new bed that we put together. So um, we will, I'm going to show you that and we will see how the boys react to their new bed setup once they get home from school. As always, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button below so you can stay up to date on everything going on with us, the kids, everything in between, and it helps us out a lot too. All right, so this is Trig's room. Um, nothing on the walls or really any sort of decoration um, in any of the kids' rooms since we moved here. And then this is his crib. Um, we still have the monitor above his crib on the ceiling. And then um, he's got this sound machine nightlight that we use at night. Um, but he turned three about two months ago, so he is more than overdue for getting a big boy bed. We haven't felt rushed or anything because he sleeps well in his crib he doesn't try and get out but um we really need to get moving on that so breck um has a floor bed which is going to become trig's new bed um if you saw my video about our beach vacation um trig was sleeping in a bunk bed that was off the floor a little bit and he actually fell out um, onto the floor several times a night. So this is gonna be essential for him until he gets used to sleeping in a big bed um, that doesn't have sides to keep him contained. So that's Breck's bed. And then we are going, um, Jeremy's working on building the other bed that's gonna go into Breck's room, which will actually sit off the floor, um, probably, I don't know, six inches or so. Um, so Breck's going to get that one. He's going to be fine having the bigger bed that's off the floor. And then Trig will get Breck's old bed um, that will sit on the floor. These are actually, we bought them, we bought them as bunk beds. Um, there's actually three, a set of three. We bought them all together um, with the thought that maybe at some point we would stack them on top of each other. Um, we're not going to do that yet, but we are um, thankful to have just the the three beds that we can put together as um, the boys get older. And then we have another one that we can put together that's down in the garage that we can do for Atlee um, in a year or so if we choose, choose to do so, so. Holy cow. <gasps> I don't think that's right. What's not right about it? Um. I don't think that's the right one. Why? That's sitting way too far off the... That is the top punk. That's not the one... I don't want him that high off the ground. It's got a protection right here. Well, then we put together the wrong one, but I'm going to finish it since I'm already almost done. They're all that high off the ground? There's the first twin bed, there's the second twin bed. Second twin bed's on the ground, the first twin bed's up in the eye. Yeah, but there's three of them. Yeah, the third one, I don't even know what the third one is. It's in the garage, but how high is that one then? I don't know, go look. I mean, I guess it's fine, but it just looks weird. And they're just gonna be crawling under his bed all the time okay. to play. In there for when they eventually yeah, he doesn't need a ladder, but then yeah, it's gonna be hard for him to get in it. Cause it's like, I mean, no. ow, oh, great. You need to watch jeez. Down. All right. So this is the third box and, um, 
This definitely looks like it would be shorter. So this was the one that I probably wanted actually put together for Breck. Well, maybe we'll just keep Breck with the taller one and he'll think it's cooler. Trig, what do you think about that? Is that your crib? Yeah. Atlee, you already had a lollipop, honey. No more lollipops. What happened to your bed? Why is this in the box? This is where you're going to sleep now. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> okay. His is not set up yet. You want to sleep in the garage? Yeah. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. It's cold and yucky out here. Why? That's what daddy's doing. He's getting your big boy bed put together. <gasps> Yay! All right. We're going to go see the new beds. Yay! Yay! Is, is Trig's bed ready? Is Trig's bed ready yet? Mm-hmm. <gasps> Our whole room, we, we are, our rooms aren't redone, but our beds are ready. So let's go see them. Whoa. So I don't think we'll have time yeah, to go to the store room. today. Whoa, Brack, look at your bed. Yeah, I already saw that. I see my bed. Oh, you already saw that. Okay. Guess it's not that big of a deal for him. Yeah. Trig, look at this. Here's my bed. Here's your own big boy bed. Here's it doesn't fit there very well, does it? Here's my bed. Hey, here's my bed. My bed and, and I have another bed. I kind of want to move. Hey, that's mine. That in front of here, maybe. What? Mm. What's wrong? No. What's wrong? I don't want to see my and my bed down there outside. He wants to see his outside bed. Yeah. Trig, you're going to sleep in here. No! Trick, you got the big boy bed now! No! You don't need a crib anymore because you're not a baby, are you? Allie has a crib because she's a baby. But you're such a big boy. No, I'm not! Yeah, you get to sleep in a big bed like we did when we were on vacation? No, I'm not! Why? Let's go look at it. Okay. What if we... Yeah. Don't do any what ifs. I know. Let's we gotta find a blanket to put on. No, no, I don't want this new bed. Why, honey? Because I just want to see my new bed outside. Honey, that's your crib. And your crib has your. We have to say bye to your crib because you're a big boy now. We have to give your crib to some other little baby that needs it. No. Trig, we can put, we can put this nice fluffy blue blanket on top. No. No. It's gonna be a long night. It's it's right there. Mm-hmm. So I want to see it. You're gonna see it to say bye bye. Mm-hmm. But I. Don't you think we should give it to another little little boy who needs it, who's who's only one years old? Mom, I just see it. Cause you're it. three years old now. So you don't need that bed anymore. Ah, uh, the sea. Say bye-bye. Bye, crib. Don't need you anymore, because now we're big boys. We have big beds. Mm. Say bye-bye. No. You, I want you to give the crib a hug. Give it a hug. Oh, you were with that crib a long time, huh? Can you give it another hug? What do you do when you say bye to someone? Mm. Don't you give it a kiss? Mm -hmm. Okay, say bye bye, crib. Bye bye, crib. What are you saying? Pops? Pops. He doesn't like my bed. Pops. His bed. He will. When he gets used to it. Mm hmm. I'm going to get down. You want to go in your bed? No. No? No. Cool. Your bed is super cool because you know what? It's easier to get in. 
Oh, yay! Look at you can get in it all by yourself. Yeah. And you can get out of it all by yourself in the yeah. morning. In the morning time, you don't have to wait for mommy. Well, you should still wait for mommy, but I'm trying to make it sound cool. Yeah. yeah. You can get in and out by yourself now. Yeah. Because you're such a big boy. You don't need mommy to get you in your bed now. No. Yay. I love my cool bed. What, honey? I love my cool bed. You love your cool bed? Yeah. Me too. Is it so comfy? Can I lay in it? No. Hey, I can't lay in it? Uh, we won't have time to go to the store and do any decorating today, but that may be on the list for next week. Um, Yes, I can hear you. Now Brooks figured out that the monitors have a voice function. I'm in here. Mom! Well, this is gonna be great. Now he's gonna start doing that to Trig and Allie's monitors and they're gonna wake up. So we will see how they do tonight. I know Breck will be fine. We'll see how Trig does in his new bed. Um, if he actually still remains okay with it or if he has some issues come bedtime being in there by himself. I think if he had either me or Breck in the room with him, he would be better about it. But um, we'll just have to see how it goes and keep you guys updated. Okay, what did you do? Yeah. Oh, you threw them off the cup? The... Yeah. What are you doing, Atlee? I don't like this for you. I don't want you to fall. But, but I... No, no. Sit down. Dad, dad. Sit down. Okay. We're gonna sleep in our new bed tonight. You so excited? Blankets in. Got a nice little routine going here. Makes everything just nice and tight, don't ya? I think you're an expert at talking. That's right. I am an expert. Okay, trigger trigs. So you ready to go in the night? In your new bed? Oh, yeah. So fun. You got such a big boy bed now. You ready to go? You got turtle and blankie? Okay. Say goodnight to Daddy and Atlee. All right, so, oops, sorry, that's Breck's um, bed. He is sleeping fine, which I knew that he would be. And then, um, and then Trig is our, also passed out already. So I did put a blanket next to his bed just in case he does fall off, but it is carpeted, so it should be fine. I I'm, think he'll probably stay asleep as long as he doesn't roll out of his bed. He'll probably be fine and stay in his bed all night. So I will update you guys in the morning on how everybody slept in their new beds. I think Breck will be fine. I'll let you know how Trig does. And um, I'm going to head to bed too. <coughs> okay. It's okay, sweetheart. No, I don't need a big good game. I know. You don't want to. Yuck. Yuck, mommy. Okay. Yes, let's get it off your finger. <coughs> it's okay. It's okay. <coughs> let's get your dirty clothes off, Okay. <coughs> I know. It's okay. It's okay. Get your arm out. I know, honey. Where the heck did that come from? Oh, I gotta go again. No. Okay, honey. I know you don't want to, but sometimes you can't help it, honey. Okay, let's take your, your pants off, okay? They're dirty. I know. You tried not to puke in your bed. Yeah. yeah, but then you had to puke. Sometimes it just has to come out, sweetheart. Oh. So that you feel better than after it comes out. Okay. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. <laughs> oh, Trig. 
stuff Ugh. and it's all over <laughs> all over me and my hair okay just a second what well, sweetheart i'm sick you're sick no no i'm sick you are sick no no i'm not sick no I, I was sick you were sick yeah okay here's a new bowl we're gonna sit on a towel while mommy gets everything cleaned up okay okay just for a little bit until we feel better okay 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 come over here sweetheart <laughs> Oh, honey. It's always something with you, isn't it, honey? Stop, stop, stop. I'm going to have you sit right here on the floor. Why? So that you don't throw up on the carpet, sweetheart. No more poop in my tummy, though. You don't have any more puke in your tummy? Yeah. Okay, I hope not. Sometimes you can't help it. Right? Sometimes your body just... Says this is yucky stuff and we gotta get it out. I don't want to get to go over you. <laughs> uh, it's okay, sweetheart. I don't want you to get puke on your all over you. That's why we're gonna go in the bowl, okay? <sighs> if anyone's gonna get sick, it's gonna be it's gonna be Drake. So he just was crying in his bed and um said that he was sick, but there wasn't anything in his bed. I'm like, okay, let's just go downstairs. And then um, as soon as we got downstairs, I'm holding him, we're standing in the kitchen and he puked all over me and the floor and then continued to puke for like the next minute. And it was like, so we went to the apple orchard earlier today and it was like all the apples that he ate all day, which was like a lot. Um, and he hasn't puked again since then, but he just does not feel good. Keeps kind of, I think it's like maybe coming in waves, this like nausea, but he hasn't thrown anything up. But um, yeah, I checked his temperature. He's like 99.1, which isn't enough for me to worry about anything. I'm gonna check it here again in a little bit. But gosh, guys, this poor kid just is sick every like every other week. He's got something. Honey, I know it, sweetheart. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. It's okay. It's okay. Shh, 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 shh. Hey, I was just about ready to put Trig back in his bed, and then he did throw up again. So I think we're gonna just hang out down here for a while tonight um because he can't go back in his bed yet and it's just going to be easier if we hang out down here if he's going to keep throwing up or whatever so so that's going to be my night and I don't know um how much sleep I'm going to get probably not much of anything because Breck's also been waking up um I don't know if he's getting sick too or what, but he's he woke up once tonight already, which is very unlike him. So um, we'll see how many more times Trig throws up tonight before I can try and get him back in his bed. Trig, how do you feel today? Good. Do you feel better? Yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna puke again today? No. No, I hope not. All right, so Trig um, has been doing okay so far today. It's about 10 o'clock, I would say, and he seems to be pretty, feeling pretty good, right? Yeah. No more puking? No. So thankfully that was short-lived. Um, he ate a bagel with jelly on it this morning has kept that down um so i think we're good there okay so trig has been better all day i'm not really sure what was going on last night but um obviously just like a little 12 hour bug thank goodness also um they both him and breck seemed to do really well in their beds last night despite trig being up from being sick um he slept well in his bed otherwise. He actually didn't fall out at all and um, 
there was no crying or fussing at nighttime about um, having a different a different bed. So that's great. Um, Breck loves being up higher off the floor, so that's good. Um, yeah, it's just good things all around, and um, we're glad that the sickness is gone, and hopefully it stays gone for as long as possible. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and we will see you guys next time.